Today we're going to talk and take a look at Salix, which is essentially a Linux distribution that's based on Slackware, but with its primary goal is to be compatible with Slackware, but also adds a bit of the extra style to it as what well is essentially to make Slackware easier for folks. So let's go ahead and install this and take a look. Uh, Salix finish. Okay, we're going to install this in English. And let's take a look. Welcome to the Salix installation. You may type setup to start the installation. We can just press the up arrow. We also use this installation medium as a rescue CD. Okay, so let's just go set up. I'm going to keep the current key mapping. I'm going to install. Uh, this is the disk we want to install on. I'm going to do a simple DOS setup. So let me first do 95 gigs. Oh. Right. Okay. So the top one will be a Linux partition that's going to be bootable. The second one is going to be just uh, for swap space. So just change the second one's type to Linux swap. So the top one you see Linux, second one Linux swap. And I'm just going to write these yes. And let's quit. Okay. We'll now prepare your system swap space. Yes. Okay, so it's busy activating the swap partition, which it's seen correctly. Uh, the root partition, our 95 gig partition, is correct. Uh, we want to do format. We're going to use ext4 as a file system. Correct. Okay, install from a DVD, so I'm going to say auto. And we want it to install the full system. So I'm going to say full. And we're going to let it uh, go ahead and install and come back when it's done. Okay, so we're going to do a simple to install Lino standard. We shouldn't need extra parameters. Uh, install the MBR to the boot record. Okay, Lino is installed. Uh, what time is GMT minus seven? Uh, English for the USA is fine. Uh, Numrock enabled on boot. Now we're going to be presented with additional user stuff. Okay, so creating your account, we're going to call it gosh, give it a strong password. Okay. Good grief. How strong a password do they want? Okay. Uh, list groups and memberships. Okay, memberships. Okay, back. Okay, so exit user setup. Uh, we'll use, uh, let's use a mirror a little bit closer. And reboot now. Yeah, let's see what it looks like when it comes up. Okay, nice installer here. So let's log in. Okay, and take a look. So this looks like uh, XFCE. And first thing we can just go to settings, display. Let's fix this resolution keep it yes okay and of course this is default selix on the box uh selix uses a slap to get uh, package manager so if you look here on their system as well they have system files settings office etc so if we look at accessories really pretty standard uh task manager uh type stuff uh, memory usage only using 600 megs, little CPU usage, etc. 
development, Genie Meld, Graphics, Risotto Libre, Transmission, Firefox Cross Mail, Multimedia, Office, out the box, Settings, out the box as well, uh, System, all really, really really great type of stuff they've done here. So it also supports flat hub other box as well. So they've enabled flat pack. So if you want to install software, additional software from here, really great. It's awesome to see that they've actually done that, I think. Uh, there's also G Slapped, which is a package manager. Uh, essentially, so if I take a look at the about, it's a front end for Slapped Get. So if we were to go and do a sudo slapped get update, uh, let's uh, update it quickly. So that's to retrieve the packages, uh, install packages. Okay, so if we were to do sudo slapped get and it is dash i vlc hit enter okay so we have the first two dash dash update so download the package files and now we can do a sudo slap get dash i vlc looks at the packages finds it and will install it. And of course a really sane way of handling uh, software packages as well. You can also use Slack, PKG and SPO tools or install your applications manually as well. You don't have to do it this way. Um, VLC Media Player of course all installed and uh, working as well. And of course here if you wanted to uh, you can go ahead and also search for your app. So let's say we're all going to look for Kause, which is surprisingly not showing anything here. Just uh, close this. So we can go to Markwell Upgrades, we can go to Preferences, Sources, so shows the mirrors, verifications, and I'm just going to look for Kause. Just really surprised I can't find that. I'm gonna what I feel see. It's quite weird. Let me open that up again. Okay, so now if I do look for Kausa, you'll see it's here. So same thing I can just do install, execute. Click OK. It's successfully installed. It. So if we open up the terminal, go can say hello everybody. Hello everybody. Uh, if we do near fetch, near fetch isn't installed. So again, I'm going to do a sudo slapped get dash i near fetch. Okay, now if I go near fetch, you'll see it's uh, installed it and it does show as Slackware out of the box. Cool. So if you want, you can configure the system host name. Okay, so if we were to look at the file system, all nicely, cleanly laid out of thinner. And what really sets uh, Salix apart from Slackware is the additional uh, tools that they've got to make it easier. So there's also a host name configuration tool. So if I open that, I can enable and disable IP6, and I can change the system's host name to gosh, WM, Salix, whatever. And I could just apply those changes. Uh, also under settings as well, or under system rather, there's also a new files. So here, of course, you can compare 
any new configuration files with previous configuration files and check the changes there. Uh, mirror, of course, repo, check as well. You can go and configure it over here and of course get it to pull in the Slack builds data as well. So you can install Slack to, uh, get and the package manager on normal Slackware as well. Uh, something I haven't looked at too much. I prefer to look at some of the other tooling. But yeah, this is, you know, who is this distribution for? Uh, Salix. Salix is basically the Linux Mint version, you could say, of a Slackware distribution. You know, Salix is to Slackware what. Uh, you know some other distributions are to to other ones. You know you could almost say it is the Ubuntu to Debian. It's the uh, Linux Mint to Ubuntu. And yeah, really out the box. If you don't really want to struggle with so many different uh, things or issues, you know at once, and you just want to be as I call it a lazy slacker, use Salix. Fantastic distribution. Same defaults. Great. Uh, extra bits of software, having f um, flat packs enabled as well is really great and can be a little bit tricky in normal Slackware. So folks, as always, uh, leave your comments below, let me know what you think and thank you for watching. Bye for now.